Hello class, welcome back to Mathematics Year 2 with me, Madam Audrey. Okay, we are still at the topic of time. We are going to look at say and write the time. The learning standards for today are 5.1.2 Stat and show time in hours and minutes as well as 5.1.3 Convert time in hours and minutes from words to numerals and vice versa. Let's recap the thing that we have learned from the previous lesson. There are two types of clocks and watches. One is analog, the other digital. And we have learned that the lines on analog clocks and watches are called graduations. Time. This is an analog clock or watch. The minute hand is at 1. Remember, between 12 and 1, there are 5 graduations. Okay, so the minute hand is at 1. 1 times 5 is 5. So it's 5 minutes. We say 5 minutes pass. 5 minutes pass. When the minute hand is at 3, 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minutes. We can say 15 minutes or quarter past. Suku, satu suku, quarter past. When the minute hand is at four, four times five is 20 minutes. 20 minute past. When the minute's hand is at 6, we get 6 and times 5. How much is 6 times 5? If you don't remember, you need to revise back on your multiplication of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. So it's 30 minutes. Or we can say half past. Because it's already half of the clock. Next, when the minute hand is at 9, we get 9 times 5. It's 45. Okay, 45 minutes. Or you can say quarter two. Do you know why? Because we only left about a quarter to 12. When the minute hand is at 10, we get 10 times 5, which is 50, 50 minutes. Or since we have 10 minutes left to 12, we can say 10 minutes to. When the minute hand is at 11, we get 11 times 
five, which is fifty-five. All left how many minutes? One, two, three, four, five. Five minutes two. Remember when the minute hand is between twelve to six, you can use pass. But when the minute hand is between six to twelve, this area you say two. Let's take a look at this situation. What is the time now? A friend said a quarter past five. Another said five fifteen. If you see the digital clock or the digital watch, it's five fifteen. The analog, the minute hand is at three, which is a quarter past. And the hour just past five, so a quarter past five. This is the digital watch, and this is the analog watch. Let's learn how to tell the time. Let's look at the hour hand first. The hour hand is between six and seven. Not yet reached seven, so it's six. The minute hand is at three, so we get three times five, which is fifteen. So it's six. Fifteen. We can say it as six fifteen. Or remember this area. This is past. Fifteen is equal to quarter. So it's quarter past six. Remember this is the hour, and this is the minutes. Six. Fifteen. Let's take a look at another example. The hour hand shows between one and two. So it's one. Not yet two o'clock. Belum pukul dua. Masih pukul satu lebih. And the minute hand is at six. So we get six times five, which is thirty. So the time is one thirty. Okay, one thirty. Remember, thirty is what half past. So half past. One. Let's take a look at this example. The hour hand is between ten and eleven. It's after ten, not yet eleven. Belum pukul sebelas ya. So it's ten. Then the minute hand is at One, one times five is five. So the time is ten o five because this o represents the zero. You can't say ten five. You need to say it or write it as Ten o five. Remember this area. The past. So it's five minutes 
past ten. Next one. Okay. The hour hand is at three. How about the minute? At twelve. Twelve. You cannot times five because this is the starting point. So it's all zero. Okay. So you call this three zero zero. You don't say zero zero. You write three or three o'clock. This one, the hour hand shows point two. What number is that? Eight. The minute hand is at twelve, which is the starting line. So it's zero zero. It's eight. The zero zero you don't write it down. So it's just eight or eight o'clock. Next example. The hour hand between five and six. So it's just past five. You write five. The minute hand points to eight. Eight times five, forty. So it's five, forty. Okay, or you remember this area? This is the area two. How many minutes two? You can get one complete circle, which is sixty minus forty. Then you get twenty. You can also write twenty minutes to what time? It want to go to six, so it's twenty minutes to six. This example, the hour hand is between eleven and twelve, so it's eleven, not yet twelve, and the minute hand points to ten. So we get ten times five, which is fifty. The time is eleven fifty. Or remember this area, the area two. How many minutes to twelve? The minute. How many minutes more to go to twelve? Okay. So you get sixty minus fifty, you get ten. So it's ten minutes to what time? Twelve. Ten minutes to twelve. Another example. The hour hand points between eight and nine. So it's still eight o'clock. Minute hand is at eleven. So we get eleven times five, which is fifty-five. The time is eight fifty-five. Okay, the area two. The minute hand. How many minutes to move to twelve? We get sixty minus fifty-five is five, so it's five minutes to nine, almost nine o'clock. Lima minutes lagi, buko sembilan. Now we look at 
convert time to numerals means the time is given to you in words dalam bentuk perkataan you have to change to numbers kepada nombor to 10 to 10 the time is you write 2 for the hour and 10 for the minute easy right we try another few questions 5 35 so the hour is 5 the minute 35 12 55 what's the hour 12 minute 55 next 11 40 so 11 is the hour 40 is the minute next six o'clock okay six o'clock or clock means behind is both zero zero so this is how you write six o'clock in number next 10 minutes past one so what's the hour okay the hour the minute is 10 minutes past huh? so past 10 minutes the hour is one so it's one ten half past two what is half half past half of the clock is six right six times five is thirty then the hour is two so it's two thirty how about quarter to ten quarter to ten okay almost ten o'clock quarter you get sixty minus fifteen so you get 45. 210. Mahu pukul 10. Belum lagi pukul 10. So before 10, 210. You minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. Good. 5 minutes to 12. Okay. One complete circle is 60 minutes, right? You minus 5, so you get 55. 2, 12. Meaning not yet 12. Belum lagi pukul 12. Not yet 12 is 11. So it's 11, 55. Okay, the exercise for today is to complete page 117 and 118 in your mathematics year 2 activity book. Thank you class and see you again in the next session. Goodbye.